welcome to Your Questions Answered, episode 12. Like I said, every month I'm going to be doing this Your Questions Answered via the comments that you have posted on my channel. First, I would like to say uh, thank you very much for 2,040-something subscribers I have reached, and as well as I would like to give benefits to my new background on my channel to DJ Godman, which he graphically designed for my channel purposes, so thank you very much for that. And um, go check out DJ Godman's channel because he is back up and running with graphics designing tutorial videos and uh, things like that. So go check that out. Pretty dope. Um, so let's start off the question of the day, shall we? So first question was asked by Hardy5992. In your very old vid about how to stop PSP from freezing, I can't find PSP CPU speed option 333 by 166. All it has is 333 and 266. Please help, it keeps freezing. Well, depending on what custom firmware you have, that actually is a higher CPU speed than the uh, 333 by 166. Now, God Pro and um, ME custom firmwares, the ME and Pro custom firmwares only go up to 333 by 166. God custom firmware, however, goes up a little bit higher. So I believe you're probably on God custom firmware, and that should be where you're all right there. If it keeps freezing, you might have too many SE plugins enabled in order for the CPU to help out with that at all. So go and see which SE plugins you don't necessarily need and disable them and see if that solves the problem. Next comment was left by um, Axon Phillips. I don't know how to say it. Stay true to what you do, but I was wondering if you have find out how to jailbreak PS3 yet, and also can you make can you make the saber editor for Borderlands 2 for the PS3 if you're able to copy the save data? Okay. Um, there's no jailbreak for PS3 per se. There's only custom firmware. Any jailbreaks that you see are fake because they're going to ask for a survey. They're going to ask you to do this, that, ba ba da ba 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 boom. None of that's real. Okay. There's custom firmware 355. And they're working on custom firmware 421. Now the only way to install custom firmware on a PS3 is if you go out and buy this thing an E3 flasher, which you're going to need in order to downgrade. Downgrade to the custom firmware using the E3 flasher. Download the custom firmware, um, which sooner or later I'm going to make a video on how to do that and downgrade to 355. I plan on getting an E3 flasher fairly soon. I have custom firmware 355 for the PS3, the legit one. And then I'll make tutorials on how to install the spoofers and things like that so you can get up and running with the PlayStation Network. Now, copying save data, easy as pie. Plug in a USB, copy it to the USB, bring it up to the computer. The save game editor, never heard of it before, but I'll look into it and see what we're looking at. Next comment. All right, this one was left by the Annie Rocker, the Annie Crocker, and um, they write, when I try to install a custom firmware 6.60 ME 1.6, my PSP says the game cannot be started. Please help me, I need your help. First things first, make sure you're on official firmware 6.60. Second, you're gonna wanna make sure that you don't have any other custom firmware modules installed. For an example, you wanna make sure that A, if you had any custom firmware prior, you want to uninstall those modules with the installation packages. If you haven't had custom firmware on it yet, and you're trying to install this, make sure, one, it's the installer, and then you use the launcher, and two, make sure that they're the right ones and that they're actually signed to work with official firmware, which I don't see why they wouldn't be, but there could be some fraud ones out there just trying to get a download feed up for revenue purposes. So make sure that they're the proper ones. If you want to make sure they're proper, go to my website and download them. All right, next comment was left by Maxim Simdas. Sir, what is the latest custom firmware? Still 6.60 Pro B10 for PSP 3000. 
The latest custom firmware is 660 Pro C. You can get it at the tutorial on my channel um, for custom firmware 6.XXC. Um, I have it for 620, 635, 639, and 660. And uh, you can get the downloads at the link there on the video or at my website, softwarereborn.com. Alright, moving on to the next comment. Shady as shit. Wow. <laughs> Shady is the shit. My friend says he gets all his torrents and shit from some pirate bay, and I was wondering, was that some smart ass remark? Which I think it is, or is the shit actually real? The piratebay.org. It is a real website, but I would recommend not using it because there is a lot of malicious software going around on that server. But if by all means you want to do it on your own free will, you can take that chance as well. The official PSP hacker states, Hey Rob, thanks for helping me out before. I still need help with something else. How do I hack some douchebag's YouTube account and fuck him over? There are many videos on YouTube, password crackers and decoders. I think they're BS, but do you know if any of them work? Thanks. Why do you want to know this information? Well, I'll just tell you anyway. Now, I've never hacked a YouTube account before and I don't plan on it and I don't plan on making any videos on how to do it or giving the information on how to do it. One, yes, I know how to do it. Two, am I going to tell you? No, because that's pretty much classified information, but I will tell you the process. There's nothing wrong with saying the process. The process is actually IP encryption using brute force linked to a server. Now, it's a total waste of time. It takes forever and for what you're probably trying to do you should just flag whatever the fuck you think is you know wrong like go on look at the video flag it see what the fuck's going on and let YouTube deal with it don't try and take it into your own hands because that will have you know oh here's the federal fucking court system you don't want that but using brute force on an IP codec website to figure out one account out of billions you're probably looking at like 45 fucking years to use brute force to find out what the password is. So, one, don't attempt it. Two, never attempt it. Three, stay on the legal side. Next, yeah, bleh. Next comment was left by something about Mary94. My little brother has a 32 gig fourth generation iPod Touch running 421 and I jailbroke it a long time ago. His iPod completely full with apps got from Instalus. How can he update his iPod to the latest software without losing the apps he installed? Is there a way that I can back them up on my computer? And how do I do such... What the fuck? Where the hell was I? Is there a way that I can back them up on my computer? And how do you know so much about computers and technology? Can you please make another vid like what made software reborn, but a longer one on how you know everything and how can people learn what you do. Thank you so much. Much obliged. I do know a lot of information according to my audience and I thank you for that. And uh, it took a long time to tell you that much. Um, but answering your question first, the 32 gig iPod Touch. Now there's this thing on Windows that you can get or if you have Linux you can probably get it even easier. Um, just because Linux has that file browsing software shit that you can download from Ubuntu Software Center and go in and you can actually pick, hand pick out, but in Windows you have to um, download this program, it's called iExplorer, install it on your drive, it's going to ask for CC or C++ modules, it's going to install that, and then uh, once it's all installed and everything, plug your device in, don't update it yet, and then open up the device in the iExplorer and it's going to list all these folders and then basically what you're going to do is you're going to look for Instalus. Okay? You're going to look for the Instalus folder which should be in VAR, mobile, and um, either A applications or B it'll be in media. Somewhere around there. But just look for an Instalus folder. Find the Instalus folder and then it'll list all the things that you downloaded on Instalus. Take those, highlight them all, Copy and paste into a folder on your desktop. Done. Then you update, right? Then you jailbreak again, then you use iExplorer, and then you transfer those files back to the Instalist folder. Now it has to be the Instalist folder, because then you're gonna go into Instalist, and these apps are gonna show up, and then you just 
install them one by one. Yeah, that's the only bad part. But that's how you do it. And uh, I'll make another video. Don't worry. Alright, next comment was left by the Castro Hunter X. Hello again. Three questions. Why are you perfect? I don't know, you tell me. Women don't think so. As in it, you can sing, fix things, mod everything. Well done. Thanks. Second, are you a soccer fan? If yes, which team do you support? I do like soccer, but I haven't really watched soccer, so I don't really have a team per se. But if I was to say any kind of team to go for, I'd probably go for Australia. Third, why do you want to apply for a partnership? Apply for a partnership. On YouTube, I assume. More benefits, pretty much. Alright. Next comment left by the same guy, Castro Hunter X also said. Um, one more question. Is the motherboard TA86 on the PSP 2006 unbrickable? If not, can I change my motherboard to an older version? Isn't it the same? Okay. Sad to say, there hasn't really been an unbricking method. Now, if it's semi-bricked, you might be able to do it. And here's where I say, might be able to do it. You make a recovery folder, right? So, say it's semi-bricked, right? You turn the fucking thing on, hold the R trigger down, and hopefully, your light custom firmware menu comes up. If it doesn't, then it's totally bricked. But this is a rare occasion where it might actually do it. And this has only happened to me like once. Every other fucking PS3 3000 I've gotten, this never happened. This is only if you install a permanent flash on there and pray to fucking God that it works. Which is why I say stay, stay with light custom firmware on the 2002 models of PSP and up. All the way through PSP and up. But, if this so happens, you can attempt a recovery to official firmware. By that, I mean going in, load the recovery folder from the recovery menu, and have the official firmware update in the recovery folder, 660. And then install it. That's pretty much it. That's the only chance you got. Other than that, you're probably going to have to swap with the board. Now, you will not be able to use an older board because the connections are different as well as the hardware is different. So it's gonna be like, what the fuck kind of UMD tray is this? What the hell kind of charge port is this? What the, f the R button is gonna be like the O button? It's gonna mess you all up, so don't try it. All right, moving on. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, that's the last one. All right, so that's your questions answered, episode 12. Again, thank you for all your support and views, as well as my subscribers and that framework. And be sure to check out my website, softwareborn.com, because new material and downloads will be there shortly. I have introduced Linux, as you probably noticed, and I will be introducing Mac OS relatively soon, along with some sneak previews of Windows 8. So, because I'm special. Um, but yeah, so stay tuned for all of that. Subscribe to me on Twitter, or follow me on Twitter, whatever the fuck you want to say for Twitter. Uh, at DeathRain333, same as my YouTube channel's code name. It's really software reborn. Check out my electronics and software blog spot on the Google blog forms. And if you feel like you want to be my friend, go ahead and check out my Facebook and personal message me there for any questions that you want ASAP answered. As well as leave your comments on my videos for more information. As well as leave your comments on the channel here for your questions answered, episode 13, coming up for the month of October. Um, for this month. Yeah, sorry, I'm making this video a little late. But, so that's that. So take it easy, guys. Thanks for again, and I will talk to you later. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and check all that shit out that I told you to check out. Okay? Bye.